Oh, good evening. I'm Richard Munga with the day's sports. On to a top story today whereby Boxing Federation of Kenya successfully held the second day of the inaugural Jamal's Cup tournament on 18th November, that is today, at Charter Hall, Nairobi. Meanwhile, consultative meetings between Athletics Kenya and athletes all over the country continue today in Akuru County, with stakeholders urging for more emphasis on developing young athletes. A total of 40 bouts were on card this afternoon as Jamal Cup Boxing Tournament entered day two at Charter Hall, Nairobi. 36 pages took part in the ring during the preliminary bouts held on Wednesday. In some bouts, 2015 African Championship gold medalist Nico Koth defeated Rea Ganodindo. Victor Odiambo humbled Dan Omondi. Anthony Mainasov of Mohamed Abed, while Francis Riziki trounced Washington Wandera. The tournament has attracted 122 purges, both men and women drawn from 26 clubs across the country. Meanwhile, athletic stakeholders at today's consultative forum in Kerigate, Nakuru have asked Athletics Kenya to establish mentorship programs involving retired and young athletes. Former Commonwealth Games 3000 meter steeplechase champions Richard Matelong urged the young athletes to always listen to their seniors and receptive to advice on matters to do with sport and social welfare. Shirika la riada la Kenya mfikiria jambo la maana kuleta isi tukutano mashinani. Hindu awese kupata ama kujua shida ambazo wana riada wana pitia. Tungaomba tu watu wa AK wa kama wange tusaidia na kitu kidogo tuseme gari ama pesa ama accommodation huko tungeshukuru sana the second cluster of the consultative meetings ended in Kerigate, with the third one kicking off on Monday with athletes expected to converge in Eldamaravin Baringo County Daniel Mwendwa Sports